welcome back to my channel so literally excuse the state of me i literally look like a complete stay um as you can tell by the title i'm going back into audiology because my hearing aid has stopped working again i don't know how the filter is getting so moist i think it is the filter again so hopefully i can get that changed again today i literally look like a stay i did just finish work early today and i'm not feeling that well um during my lunch break i did just sleep and then so now i'm quickly gonna eat a sandwich before i head out i think i might take it with me to be honest because i don't want to be late for my appointment but i thought i'll bring you guys along with me as i bring you guys along with all of my hearing aid journeys excuse the state of me um i'm just editing this video and i'm still not like a hundred percent um back to normal i am obviously home um and i just wanted to like edit this video um and obviously this was originally like an uh, audiology hearing aid video and it turned into me getting the flu and being really ill in hospital so i just wanted to jump in and show you guys um i just put it back in here but um this is my hearing aid so it was again like the filter at the top um and so she just um took this filter off and then um put a new one in and then for some reason like my tubes got hard again i think it's because um they were like telling me how to clean it is i take the tube off and put it in some water with the air mold as well um to get all the air wax and stuff off and it would make my tube like really hard so i'm gonna buy a kit on amazon which you can buy to just like clean and get all the air wax off which is what i'm gonna do and then hopefully the filter won't get like damaged again you can kind of see there's like a white little bit there which is like the thing that was kept getting moist so that it was stopping the sound from coming through it literally happened to get like last time i did a hearing aid video and also my mold kept coming off of the tube anytime i took it off like anytime i took it off which i put it in like the mold would just come off so she put a thicker tube in um, so hopefully that won't happen again but she said that it, it does like happen that it just falls off and then um i can just put it back on but it's just like really annoying so yeah but that is my hearing aid it's all fixed and was i was in hospital i wasn't really wearing it because it was giving me a headache because obviously when you're hard of hearing or deaf and you have like a hearing device everything is like really loud because you know used to it being quiet and my hearing aid was broken for a bit so i couldn't use it so using it again literally made my like me have a headache and then me being ill was just making it so worse i literally had like pounding headaches all the time so i haven't really been able to wear it i'm only just starting to wear my hearing aid again um and it's like really weird because it's still obviously like really loud um to get used to it again because anytime you stop wearing your hearing aids for a certain period of time um your brain isn't used to it so it has to get reused to it if that makes sense um but yeah that's my hearing aid it's all done <music> Hey guys so i don't know if you can hear me the last i literally look a state the last thing you saw from me was at audiology yesterday and i did say i wasn't feeling very well and now i'm in hospital um i don't i might have to stay the night i'm not quite sure what's going on yet but i gotta get an x-ray on my chest um and um i've had like my blood taken so i'm just waiting to hear back from that i'm feeling a bit better now i'm on a drip um at the moment um and i had some antibiotics no i've had some painkillers and i'm on some stuff that's make that's um made me more hydrated because apparently i was really dehydrated even though i was drinking loads of water and fluids all day i've still been like Apparently, I've still been really dehydrated. So, yeah, and I'm just waiting for the blood test to come back so they know what type of antibiotics to give me. Um, but, yeah, I did not expect this to take a turn like this. I, honest, I honestly just thought that I had, like, a sore throat and I just had a cold. I didn't think it could have been, like, 
sepsis or the flu which is like what they said but i'm not quite sure what it is yet that's why we're just waiting for the blood test to come back The last time I spoke to you was yesterday. I did get a little bit of footage from it today, um, but my mum stayed in with me last night and my boyfriend stayed with me for quite a while and then he went home yesterday and then he came back this morning. Um, and then my brother left work early to come and see me today. And then my dad and my sister came in after they finished work and then they've literally just gone now like as soon as they closed the door i've started filming <clears throat> i am meant to be moving to hematology because of my blood condition so i'm just waiting to get transferred like that's why um my um dad and sister are leaving so late because um they were trying to wait um until i got moved but yet yeah, like they're just kind of taking quite long <clears throat> it's like currently nine o'clock at night and they both got like work tomorrow and they gotta to get back and eat some tea so i just said for them to go on but i'm still kind of strapped up and i still got my cannula and then i got like this on this and then i've got these things connected to my chest at the moment um <clears throat> so it turns out i have the flu um and um, I'm feeling not too bad because they've given me loads of painkillers through my cannula. Um, but yeah, um, they did a swab for COVID, which I already done before I came. Well, like, yeah, I already done a COVID jab yesterday before I went to the doctors. And then when the doctor sent me here, they done a COVID swab and a flu swab. Um, and the COVID one came back negative, but I have the flu. Um, my sister had it like two years ago. And so my mum and everyone kind of knew, like thought that I had the flu because this is how she was. Um, so I think I'm gonna be staying in here a couple of days. I did not expect this to turn out like that. Um, I literally just thought I had a little bit of a cough and a cold, um, but like later on in the night on Monday, after I got my hearing aid um, de replaced, I started to feel like really ill. It's currently the daytime. Um, I'm just eating a pear right now. Um, I had breakfast. It's currently like nearly 12. I had breakfast really early this morning because they come round super early. <clears throat> well, it feels like super early because you get like kind of woken up halfway through the night when they come in to do like your checks and everything. So I kept waking up and then... I also kept waking up on my own, like, reaching to be sick. Um, <clears throat> I think it's because I was hungry because last night um, I had some ice cream and stuff, but I bought that all up. Like, I was sick, and then my stomach was, like, empty, so I feel like that was why I felt really sick. And then um, I, as soon as I woke up, I had, like, breakfast, and I, like, literally tried eating it all really fast, and I feel like that just, like, made my stomach feel... <coughs> I feel like <clears throat> I feel like that just made my stomach like really irritated so I was sick again this morning and now I'm like really hungry again so I'm just eating a pear from mm, the fruit basket my dad got for me and I haven't had any painkillers yet today and I'm not feeling too bad it's just like my throat that just is like irritated because I can't speak normally like I'm quite blocked up um but they've given me some cough syrup which tastes like sambuca and it's not good i didn't know whether to wait until i've got some food because i don't really want to be sick um and then they've given me some paracetamol like liquid paracetamol because my throat i don't really want to have tablets um and it tastes just like cold pool so it's a win-win um harrison's coming in today because he's got the day of work and i think he might try and sleep here which is good and then my sister did pop in today because she's got like a blood test um literally here anyway 
um, but it's been a bit delayed so she popped in to see me but she's gone now um and then um my mum is coming in after work and my dad's coming in after work as well um so yeah i've got like quite a load of people coming in so i'm gonna take this time to chill for a bit i'll probably have a nap Curious butterflies. you mean bread and butterfly hey guys so it is currently the next day it's currently friday um, I did think I was going to be going home today, but today wasn't the day. Um, I have been crying because I thought I was going to get to go home. But um, yeah, I haven't filmed all day just because I've been taking it steady. Harrison stayed last night and got us some McDonald's so I didn't have to have the hospital food. Currently watching the World Cup. It's Croatia versus Brazil. Um, England play tomorrow. Um, so I'll probably be watching it in here because I doubt I'll be going home tomorrow either. Um, my mum and my sister are going to be coming in soon. It's currently um, 5.35. So yeah, it's not too late, but I'm really hungry because um, I haven't really been eating that much just because I haven't really been enjoying the hospital food. So um, my mum and my sister are bringing me in some snacks to eat um, and Harrison couldn't stay tonight because he's working in here I literally can't get any sleep because I keep getting woken up every hour for checks or just whatever um, and then the blinds um, some of them's are, I, I don't know if one of them's broken so there's like there would be a gap in there so I just don't bother drawing the blinds and the sun when the sun starts to rise it comes through and wakes me up so yeah, I just want to go home where I can actually have some rest. Um, and I keep being sick in the morning because they're giving me my antibiotics at like 6am on like an empty stomach. Um, and it's making me like really sick. But I don't like to take that anti-sickness thing. They can give you the anti-sickness medication, but it makes me feel like worse. And it gives me these really weird tingles and then it just knocks me out. And then I'm like asleep for most of the day. So I don't want that so yeah but i'm just watching the football my brother came in for a bit actually and he bought me a costa coffee he got me a chocolate orange hot chocolate and then he got me a salted caramel brownie which i'm keeping for tonight for when i get hungry like and feel like dessert at the minute i've just been craving salt and vinegar and last night i had a dream about the costco pickles like the massive pickles you get in the jar okay guys so it is the next day i think the last time i filmed i was watching uh the football my sister stayed in with me last night it's currently like 10 15 we've been out for quite a while um they gave me some cornflakes and stuff but my sister went down and got us some um, mcdonald's at her breakfast so i got a what did i get oh, a, you got a big bacon and egg mcmuffin and then two hash oh yeah and then two hash browns and, the and then i got a sausage and egg mcmuffin with two hash browns as well um and then i just had a quick wash it's kind of hard to shower in here because i can't get this thing wet but my mum bought loads of things in for me to wash so i feel like nice and clean now and i've just got changed um, and yeah, we're going to watch this Harry and Meghan Markle documentary, or not Markle, whatever her name is now. Um, but yeah, we're just going to watch that. We started watching it last night, but I kind of fell asleep. So we're just going to watch a bit of that. And I think my boyfriend's coming in after he's been to the gym. Um, so he shouldn't be too long either. Yes, of course. It it's sunday now um i did film a little bit this morning we went and got mcdonald's again sarah did stay in with me and we're watching uh the hangover at the minute i just had my um cannula taken out i still got like that bruise from the other guy that like accidentally put it in the wrong place i don't know i told you that but like when he was putting the cannula in he accidentally put it like where that bruise is um and then he was like oh my gosh i'm so sorry i put it in the wrong spot 
don't know how that happened but yeah so it feels good now i can actually like do my own hair it still kind of hurts a little bit because i got this bandage on but she said in like 10 minutes i can like take it off but i am going home today obviously that's why they've taken this out i'm just waiting on my meds now to come back from the pharmacy and that's like the most annoying part of waiting to get out of the hospital is just waiting obviously for the meds because it's not just they're not just doing mine they're obviously doing everybody else's but um i the doc, uh the doctors came in like two hours ago said it shouldn't be like too long but you never know so just waiting on that and then i'm gonna phone my dad to come and pick me up i've kind of like packed everything away um i think i'm just gonna keep the my pjs on just gonna put a jumper on now that i've taken uh, now that this has come out i can put like a jumper on and i'm just gonna wait but yeah, I've packed up everything. So and I um we just like listened to music and chatting whilst we were packing away. But we might continue on watching the movie. I'm not sure, but I literally can't wait to wash my hair. Um, you could probably tell it's super greasy. My work's been really good about it, and my um line manager or like my like team leader, yeah, my team leader, like she is um uh been really nice and she's been like messaging me and seeing how i'm doing and stuff so um that is like a really good i'm officially going home my meds still aren't here so i've just asked if it's okay if i go home and then someone can come and pick my meds up later on and um, they said that they i have to come back tonight to pick them up because there's some things i actually need for tonight but that's fine because if i don't go now i'm not really going to get home because my dad won't be able to come and pick me up and um in like my city like they've done like clean air zones so my dad's car is the only one that can come in at the minute like obviously like sarah both our cars can but obviously they're at home so um like i, I can't get home otherwise um because my dad's like got some stuff on with the church tonight and like he's like the one that's doing it so he can't really like turn that down so he's coming to pick me up now and then they're gonna phone me or my house number when the meds are done but yeah i'm all ready to go i'm still just wearing my stuff i got my eggs on i haven't really been able to wear them because as soon as i got them i became ill okay so this is like the door i'm like gonna close it because i don't want them to hear but like here is like the shower and i really took you in here but it's quite a nice like um shower just like a basic thing there's a toilet um and then it has like nice mirrors um here so i could like do my well i can only just about do my hair now because they took the cannula out like i said um and yeah but i could always like look at myself or brush my teeth and then in here it's just kind of like obviously the essentials it's like where my drips were going into my iv and this is my bed everything's kind of on there now and then we kind of cleaned up but that didn't fit in the bin so we've kind of just left it there and then they just told us to leave this type of stuff here and that's my fruit basket that my dad got me um but yeah there's theorem and this was like my view that i think that's like the heart hospital across the road there um but you could see like primark and stuff or like our city center but it was snowing this morning so it was quite cloudy out and then the car park is down there which is where my dad's gonna be so we're just waiting on him to phone us to say that he's there so the time is currently pretty much six o'clock i've been back for a few hours i had a shower and washed my hair and the hospital just actually phoned me to say that my meds are ready so Sarah is driving me down to go get them and I also need to collect my discharge forms because I don't think they could give it to me until my meds were ready so we're gonna literally leave the house now um it was literally snowing um it was like literally snowing a minute ago um so it's quite cold out but yes So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and my next video should be my birthday. Um, my birthday is on Sunday. It's currently Tuesday so hopefully I'm feeling a lot better by then. Um, obviously I'm continuing to take my meds which is helping. <coughs> So yeah, hopefully I'll be okay for my birthday. I'm just glad that it happened when it did and not either on my birthday or Christmas because it's literally my birthday and then a week later it's Christmas. So I'm so glad that it happened 
now when it did than happening either on my birthday or Christmas. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!